So what is it that gets everybody so excited about the Tab S7 and Tab S7 Plus? But maybe, hear me out, maybe it's because of two different sizes. It comes in two different sizes, right? Quite possible, but I think there's more to it than that. Well, I did notice that a lot of people are comparing the Tab S7 already to the iPad Pro and saying it is a true iPad competitor. Okay, fair point, but shouldn't we be focusing on what the device does amazingly rather than what the Joneses are doing? Well, you know what? That's a good point, don't you think? Although the Tab S7 will go head to head with the iPad Pro, we think there's more to it than a simple comparison. Please hold for a very important message. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I got your voicemail. Sorry. Um, you know what? I wanted to let you know that people are really super excited about the Tab S7 and the Tab S7 Plus, and it could well be that it will be released next week. You know what? How exciting is that? It's alongside the Galaxy Watch on the 22nd of June. Mm. Okay. I think it's about time for me to go in. Like, I dive deep. Like, I'm last week night with the flow. Let's be honest. Choosing between a smartphone and a tablet is becoming harder these days. Especially when you look at what the Galaxy Note 20 and the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has to offer. Specs wise and size wise, it is really hard to choose. But we think that in particular, the Tablet 7 Plus will really plug that gap and will make it easier than ever. And you know what? Here's the deal. I do like the Tab S6, I really do. But size-wise, it wasn't my favorite so far. And realistically, when you compare this with a plus-size smartphone, what would you go for? And this is where the lines get really blurry when you have a smaller size tablet. But let me know in the comments below, what would you choose? A bigger smartphone or a smaller tablet? But thankfully, Samsung are clearing that blurriness into a precise picture for the Tab S7 Plus and it looks like it is becoming more of an actual work tool. And I'm not just talking documents, spreadsheets, presentations. If you're an artist, for example, you can see your ideas coming to life. But there is more, really. We think that the S Pen for the Tab S7 really improves the responsiveness and has a pointer functionality, just like a laser pointer has. Which means you can select your color and your icons on the screen and simply just navigate them around. You can also highlight an area, of course, just like a laser pointer and this may come in handy when you use the dex feature plugged into a monitor and then you can just basically point at anything in your presentation. This combined with the new book cover for the Tab S7 means a near true laptop replacement. But why? Well, this year's model has a larger trackpad recess keys and a black plastic finish. It also has three pogo pins, which is one less than the Tab S6. And all of this adds more functionality for the Tab S7. And the Tab S7 will come with Android 10, One UI 2.5. It will run Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 865 Plus. We've done a separate video, go check it out. The first mobile chipset to break three gigahertz. Pretty cool, right? The Plus version also will have that massive battery, 10,000 milliamp hour you're talking about. And around 10 hours battery life when used heavily it will come with wide 4G, 5G, it does support 45 watt fast charging despite earlier claims. The regular version of the S7 will only come with an 8000 milliamp hour battery, pretty close to the Tab S6 in terms of performance. Camera wise, you will be getting the same as you can find on the Tab S6. And Samsung has added an in screen fingerprint sensor, but only for the Tab S7 Plus. And it will be likely an optical rather than an ultrasonic in the smaller version. The 11 inch version of the Tab S7 will not get a fingerprint sensor whatsoever. I kind of get that, I dig that, because there are needs to be a separation between a regular and a pro device which also makes me believe that the 11 inch version of the tab s7 is going to be more affordable when it comes out on the tab s7 plus you will see that 12.4 inch amoled screen and we know that samsung produces really amazing screens and there's no surprise here you will maybe see a 120 hertz refresh rate and in terms of sharpness this is supposed to be slightly sharper than the ipad pro so here are our final thoughts really on the tab s7 in terms of hardware specification it looks amazing it really does everything seems to be right however one ui 2.5 will pretty much make the biggest difference on how the tab s7 can be used in your environment then add the new pen and the book cover which probably will be sold separately but then you have a stunning amazing device you made it this far thank you so much here's some bonus footage especially for you the galaxy note 20 and it spins i think i'll start up my day i think i'll move a few units i think i'll keep that moving like youtube kit and view counters i'm done being a down i think i'll make satire instead i'll blindly throw around every ugly word in my head smeg on smeagol's head baby give me my precious praise baby jesus yeah looking good with no shirt and thorn necklace or is it a crown